Hello dear students, welcome back to another class. This is your social science class with me. I am Chakolangi from India Public School, Ryan Arunachal Pradesh. In today's class, we will read chapter 3, History, Insertive, Class 6. Gathering to growing food, varieties of foods. Today, most of our food such as fruit, vegetables, grain, milk and meat comes from plants that we are grown and animals that are rare. Different plants grow in different conditions like rice, for example, requires more water than wheat and barley. So this explains why farmers grow some crops in some areas and not in other areas. Different animals too prefer different conditions, environment, sheep and goat can survive more easily than cattle in dry, hilly environments. The beginning of farming and herding. Perhaps they began looking after plants, protecting them from birds and animals so that they could grow and the seed could repeat. In this way, people became farmers. The first animal to be tamed was the wild ancestor of the dog. Animals such as sheep, goat, cattle and also the pig lived in herds and most of them ate grass. People protected these animals from attacks by other wild animals. This is how they became herders. Domestication Domestication is the name given to the process in which people grow plants and look after animals. People select plants and animals for domestication many years ago. For example, they select those plants and animals that are not prone to disease. Domestication was a gradual process that took place in many parts of the world. It began about 12,000 years ago. Virtually all the plant and animal produce that we use as food today is a result of domestication. Some of the earliest plants to be domesticated were wheat and barley. The earliest domesticated animals include sheep and goat. A new way of life. When people begin growing plants, it means that they have to stay in the same place for a long time, looking after the plants, watering, weeding, driving away animals and birds till the grain is reaping. A grain had to be stored. A grain had to be stored for both food and seed. People had to think of ways of storing it. In many areas, they began making large clay pots or whip baskets by using bamboo or dug pits into the ground. Storing animals. Animals provide milk, which is an important source of food and meat. Whenever required, in other words, animals that are treated, animals that are rare, can be used as a store of food. Here is a question What are animals used for today? Animals like, for example, animals like dog. Dogs for security, sheep for sweater, cows for milk, camel for travelers in especially in desert, hens and goat to eat. These are animals used today. Toward a settled life. Archaeologists have found traces of herds or houses at some sites. For example, in Burjahum in present day present day in Kashmir. Public built pit houses. These may have provided shelter in cold weather. Archaeologists have also found cooking herds both inside and outside the herds, which suggests that depending on the 
whether people could cook food either indoor or outdoors. Stone tools have been found from many sites as well. Many of these are different from the earlier Paleolithic tools and that is why they are called Neolithic tribes. You know what is tribes? Usually two to three generation, generations live together in small settlements or villages. Most families are related to one another and groups of such families form a tribe. Tribes have rich and unique cultural traditions including their own language, music, stories and paintings. Members of a tribe follow occupations such as hunting, gathering, farming, herding and fishing. Usually women do most of the agriculture work in the field including preparing the ground, sowing the seeds, looking after the growing plants and harvesting grain means collect collect the food grains from the agriculture field what about other customs and practices scholars have studied the lives of present day farmers who practice simple agriculture they have also studied the lives of herders many of these Farmers and herders live in groups called tribes. A closer look living and dying in Mehegra. Mehegra is a site. So this site is located in a fertile plain near the Bolan Pass, which is one of the Mehegra was probably one of the places where women and men learned to grow barley and wheat and rear sheep and goats for the first time in this area. Other finds are at Mahigra include remains of a square or rectangular houses. Each house had four or more compartments some of which may have been used for storage storing something it may be food grains or it may be clothes or it may be artifacts okay a closer look dowsali heading so find dowsali in your textbook dowsali is in uh, it is shown in page number 14 this is a site on the hills site on the hills near the Brahmaputra Valley, close to roads leading into China and Myanmar. Here, stone tools, including mortars and pestles, have been found. This indicates that people were probably growing grain and preferring food from it, as you can see in map.